how do we get from pink colonies on a plate to glowing RFP in a tube? We start with growing up or scaling up bacteria that produce red fluorescent protein. Depending upon your AVE site, this step may be done either by AVE site staff or by teachers using a freshly transformed colony. You will select one transformed RFP expressing colony, which contains a group of identically transformed E. coli cells, and grow that in a liquid medium. This liquid growth medium provides all the nutrients required for cells to grow and replicate and, most importantly, produce RFP. Cells are usually left to grow for about three to four hours to reach mid-log phase, which is where they're converting all the nutrients in the liquid medium into more proteins and more cells. At this point, arabinose is added to the culture, binding to the ARIS-C protein, which releases the DNA from its loop formation and frees the PBAD promoter to start producing RFP. These cultures can be grown from 24 to 48 hours, at which point the cells are collected, spun down, and lysed to release the RFP. Of course, even for seasoned site technicians, not every cell culture is as bright pink as we'd like them to grow. You may find that your cultures range from orange to blush and stop going pinker, or, frustratingly, simply remain cloudy and white with no RFP expression. This is highly dependent on the RFP expression level of the original E. coli colony, as well as the growth state of the E. coli culture when arabinose was added. Your AVE site may have backup cultures should you run into issues with growing your pink culture, be it white, orange, or blush. These may be in the form of a dense transformed E. coli cell culture that you can use to try and grow your cell culture again. Alternatively, your site may be able to provide prepared E. coli lysates that students can use to skip all the steps in lab 6A, starting directly from the column setup and spin steps at the start of the lab 6B flowchart. During massive scale production of drugs like insulin, this scale up growth step and the following purification process is often the most time sensitive and are the most affected by small environmental changes. Many rounds of experiments will be conducted to optimize for growth and purification conditions to generate the largest quantity of high quality product. In industrial size production cases, much of this will also be machine operated under highly controlled conditions.